Parents tonight trying to send a message to the state over vaccine mandates for their children. News 12's Christina Singer is in Lindenhurst right now with more on the protests taking place across Nassau and Suffolk. Christine. An interesting turn to this tonight. We're outside the Lindenhurst uh, School Administrative Building, and now here and across the state, families were leaving children's shoes outside of district buildings tonight. You could see a handful of shoes that were dropped off here just a short time ago. But earlier this evening, this patch of grass was covered with dozens of children's shoes. We left the area for just about 20 minutes. We came back and they're all gone. It's unclear who took them, but the shoes tonight were serving as a symbol against COVID-19 vaccine mandates in schools. This is a peaceful protest. Families in the Long Beach School District and districts across the state tonight put pairs of children's shoes outside school and administrative buildings Come on down. to show what would happen if schools begin to mandate COVID-19 vaccines. There'll be plenty of children uh, walking out of the school and not returning until they let off on the mandate. We are not against vaccines. We are for choice. Still waiting for the metrics when we can unmask our children. It's tyrannical and it's abusive to these kids. When it comes to masks, the State Department of Health's Public Health and Planning Council today approved renewing the emergency regulation for masks in schools, health care facilities and other places. On Tuesday, however, Governor Hochul tweeted, quote, if we want to get to the point where we don't need masks in schools, especially we need to get through the holidays without a spike. If we do that, she says, I will direct the State Department of Health to look at ways to relax measures, including masks in schools. We can remain uh, quite confident that this is one of our surest and best public health measures to reduce transmission. Dr. Chid Alowabachi with North Shore LIJ Valley Stream points to a new British medical journal study that finds mask wearing can reduce COVID-19 activity by more than 50%. When we were dealing with the original strain, perhaps we could have gotten away with herd immunity at 70% or, or 75%. Uh, but with the infectivity of the of the Delta variant, with the infectivity of Delta Plus uh, and other strains that may come along, we have to consider that that number is a moving target and is shifting upwards. Ah, that elusive herd immunity. Christina, what percentage does the doctor think we could actually reach herd immunity? Well, because of the Delta variant and any other variants we may see, he says you would reach herd immunity when 90% of the community is fully vaccinated. And just really quick, back to the shoe issue here. The shoes were supposed to be left overnight for administrators to see them in the morning. They were then supposed to be donated. That's the very latest here tonight in Lindenhurst.